Good afternoon, everyone. This is Michael Venezia, head of the equity trading division here at JV Markets. And today is Friday, January 9th, 2015. And before we get started, on behalf of my colleagues at JV Markets and myself, we would like to wish all our international and domestic clients a very happy and profitable 2015. And thank you for joining us. Before I get started, uh, I would normally, my next webcast would normally be about moving averages or trading volumes, which is the articles I've written on the Wine Report, which usually is the basis towards my end of the week webcast. But I thought, uh, because we are in the incubation stages here in the equity division, and it is a new year, I thought I would basically give a reintroduction of myself in the 2015 vision uh, of where the equity division and my colleagues would like to take this. So uh, let's start there. For those of you who have been uh, watching the webcast and the Rewinder Report or reading the articles, uh, thank you. Uh, you have a little bit of a head start and a little bit of a basis, but nothing that uh, you, the, the clients right now, can't catch up on. So what I'd like you to do is please go back and, and read the articles on the Rewinder Report. They're either under the, uh, the educational section or breaking news. Uh, for example, besides the first webcast I did, which was in the middle of November, uh, that was an introduction about myself and JV Markets. So if you want to know a little bit about more about that, watch the first, first webcast, but please read my bio uh, on the Rhino Report. It's a very good story about how this all came about. Uh, Tim, the president of Fairview, uh, used to work with me. We were very excited about it. Full team came full circle about going forward. Uh, we've been proven to work, work well together. And that's why we're here to support you guys. So if you go back and read those articles, we, uh, the varying topics that we've covered have been everything from time frames to trading volume to candlestick patterns to trend trading. Even, we even wrote, my colleague Rory even wrote something about the January recession, which I thought was a very good article. So please go back and read these articles. They might be a little bit uh, mundane. Uh, they are dealing about fundamentals. The articles that I'm going to be writing going forward are going to be way more interesting, a little bit not more anecdotal and, anecdotal and personal, a little more fun to read. But uh, y you can never go back about the fundamentals too, too much. So please go back and read those articles. You can never go, if you can't go over the fundamentals, you can't mess with this. So uh, if anything, please do that. But that's, that's for the introduction. But going forward, uh, my team and I have come up with a 2015 a vision to help serve our clients better when they're excited. Our webcasts that we've been doing once a week are going to go from one webcast a week to two webcasts a week. Eventually, what I what I am going to do is have a morning uh, webcast and an evening webcast. And those morning and evening webcasts will be predicated upon the previous day's trading, uh, maybe the afternoon trading and the close. So that's going to get very more intense. And not to digress, but the reason why I want everybody to, to go and watch the, the, the previous webcast or the articles is I want you to get familiar with my style, uh, my vernacular, the way I speak, uh, because when it comes time to execute trades, we can't have any, any crossed wires because a trade is a trade, and I don't want anybody, I don't want any ambiguity there. I want us to be on the same page. So uh, the webcast will be done on a daily basis from now on. I'll be also uh, be doing, uh, having a Twitter account which I bounce ideas off my colleagues anyway, so I'm going to be tweeting uh, maybe stocks that are moving that are not covered in our morning and afternoon meetings, so I'm excited about that as well, real-time tweets. Uh, number three, I will have guest traders come in time to time, peers of mine that I've known for over 20 years, uh, our Wall Street, if you will, uh, just to give a little bit of change of point of view, even a change of feeling. I mean, it's always good to have another point of view, and uh, I would think that's very important as well, so we're going to do that. Uh, lastly, oh, uh, before that, I'm going to have a live cam. I don't know if it's going to be a GoPro or not on top of, top of my head, but you, our clients, are going to be going to be able to see what I'm looking at, the eyes of a, of a trader uh, on how I trade, how I don't trade, why I do it, why I don't do it. I'll be verbally speaking about what I'm thinking about. I'll, I'll be saying out loud what I'm thinking, which is actually how I learn from the best traders. Everybody in my room had to really think out loud, just out of opinion, by the way. Uh, finally, my team and I are compiling a 250, 270-page 
Treasury Equity Manual written by myself and my team once again for everybody to have and to use and to always rely on uh, that's the complement of, of Treasury markets. And you can find the sign-up sheet at the line report under the order now. It's very simple. You just give me an email. email. Uh, someone, either myself or someone, will get back to you right away. And we should have this coming out by the end of March, the beginning of April. So uh, we're very proud of that. I'm writing some of the things myself. So, you know, when I'm not on air, you're not watching our webcast or trading with me, you can always have that to rely on, and with or without us, that's a great thing to have, and I certainly would urge it uh, to all our clients going forward, and once again, we're very proud of that. Uh, we're going to have that out at the end of March, so please sign up for that. Uh, but with that, we understand at Treasury that we're nothing without our, our clients. We just wish to add value. Our purpose is to serve. We want to find ways to exceed your expectations and to give more what is asked for. Uh, we always want to keep that in mind. This is why we do it. So until then, please read the upcoming article I have this week uh, on the Rhino Report. I'll have one Thursday. I'll have one uh, next Friday. Uh, until then, I wish everybody to do their homework, to trade well, and to trade difficult. So until then, good night, and thank you for tuning in to Treasury Markets.